In this video, we'll discuss sampling, what it means, how people sample, what rights the person who samples has, what rights the person who has been sampled has, and how it works together. A sample is copying from a sound recording. So again, think of what a sound recording is. It's often a song you recognize with melody, harmony, lyrics, and all that. But it's also the collection of sounds around that, way that, that your composition sounds different than some other version of that song. So when you sample from a sound recording, you're generally taking two copyrights. You're taking the copyright in the sound recording, of course, but within that sound recording is someone's composition. Ideally and realistically, you need permission from both the songwriter and the publisher of that song, the, the, the composition, you need that permission, and you need the permission of the record label. Sampling is really based on an old idea of taking from something that previously existed and really often honoring it and saying, I want to use it, but I want to surround it, I want to put it into my song. With hip hop, it became pretty common. People would sample. They would not ask for permission. It was considered a good tradition. But eventually, some people got upset about that and they decided they, they looked at their rights they have and they do have the right to say, I, I, you know, you, own, you think of it, you own the composition, okay? You have the right to exclude others from using it and here's someone's using your composition. And if you own the sound recording and the composition, they're violating you in two ways. They're taking your composition and they're taking your sound recording and just inserting it into their song. Eventually there were some lawsuits. Uh, one of the most famous was by Gilbert O'Sullivan, a songwriter, a recording artist from uh, the United Kingdom. He had a song called uh, Alone Again Naturally. It was a sad song, had a piano in it prominently and it was about the death of his parents. It was a touching song and it was very popular. Now a hip-hop artist named Biz Marquis comes along and likes the underlying beat, the underlying um, music. It's a small segment. It's, in terms of music, the composition was not very original. What he took was the accompanying piano chords. A one chord, a three, a two, and a five. Kind of normal chords. As a composition, that's kind of simple. It's not too original. But he took not only that, but he took the sound recording, the exact sound of that piano player and any accompanying instruments. He took that and inserted it into his song and rapped over it, told a much different story. So the problem comes from taking the composition without permission and taking the sound recording without permission and then using them. Um, and again, this hadn't been worked out in a business method yet. No one had tested to say, let's sue these people who are sampling our songs. It, there had to be a first, and this really was it. It went into the court, and the judge, uh, his name is Judge Kevin Duffy, he did something that was pretty unexpected. He started out by saying, thou shalt not steal, uh, has been an admonition from the beginning of time but it also should apply to music business. And because part of the defense of, of uh, Bismarck Key's lawyers were to say, well, this is standard practice in the music industry, which in a way the tradition was in the culture was saying, it's sampling is cool, let's do it. But they need to, to be respect for law. The copyright protected that, the, those four chords repeated and it protected the sound recording of those four chords and Biz Marquis failed to ask for either. The judge wanted to make it a point of saying, no, you need to ask for permission, you can't just steal. There was no respect for, no idea of saying, hey, this is a good tradition, culture should be respected, this is how we evolve. It wasn't that. That did crush a lot of people and stop a lot of people from sampling. So sampling is taking two copyrights. It's taking a copyright in the sound recording, and within that sound recording there's another copyright, which is the copyright of the composition. Sampling is taking both copyrights, taking that out and using it in a new work. 